Hello everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to share with you my Disneyland haul. It's a, there's a, quite a few free things. I say free, but there are things that you get with purchases of various other events or from the hotel. So we did do a split stay in Disneyland. We did stay at the Disneyland Hotel. We stayed at the Villas. Apparently they say like the DVC Villas. They say that the, what's just the villas at Disneyland Hotel, Disney Vacation Club. I didn't know it was like a separate building when I booked it, but I really wanted to stay there because it was really cute and I had seen the different rooms now. I think they're recently renovated, but I did film a little bit of that. It's on my Disneyland vlog, which should have been up before this video. Um, so we did stay there and then we stayed the other part of our trip at the Sheraton Park Anaheim, which was actually a really good experience. I really love the hotel. The staff was super friendly, but the hotel itself, we timed it. It was a 16 minute walk from Disneyland entrance. And then you have to like go through there, which is really not bad. But when you're really tired at night, it kind of was bad. For some reason, it felt longer to get to and fro from the park than it did in Orlando. This was only my second time at Disneyland. My first time we stayed um, at a uh, Airbnb pretty a little distance away so we would get dropped off in the front of the park like right at the front entrance so this was a different experience of having to like get ourselves there and we did stay the Sheraton Park Anaheim is really close to the Disneyland parking lot so we tried that we did walk to the parking lot we got on the Toy Story buses and we took the bus to the park which is kind of cool because you do bypass security at the park because you get to go through security at the parking lot however it still took 60 minutes we timed it both ways and it was 60 minutes both ways so whether we walked it it was 60 minutes or whether we took the bus it was 60 minutes ironically anywho i do want to share with you what we got at the disneyland hotel now that hotel is like right smack dab near the parks like it's great. I told my husband I want to stay at all of them, like the Pixar Hotel now and the Grand Californian. That is so beautiful. Um, we did go to uh, eat at a restaurant there, which we got something from there. But I do want to show you the Disneyland Hotel key because she gave me, our room wasn't ready. So she gave me a key card if we wanted to go to like the pool or anything. And I, well, I didn't mean to take it. I actually honestly forgot I had it because once our room was ready, we used our cell phone. Like I never even used this card for the room. I only used it to go to the pool once because it was in that bag. I had to go to the pool because we did go to the pool there. But I thought it was so cute. So I still have it. I don't think it works at all. But it's just a little Disneyland Hotel key card. And then we went into the room. Um, there was actually this gift waiting for us from the Villas at Disneyland Hotel. So it just says, welcome home. And I um, I put it in my suitcase and it did not get smashed up. But I guess because it's a DVC building, so it was like, I did have DVC call me like multiple times prior to our trip to like go on a tour, but we didn't do the tour because my husband was like, no, I don't want to do that. So this is the portrait though that was in the room and it's Steamboat Willie. And I think it's just, you know, introduced our work of Noah Elias. So I'm thinking it's just something they give to everyone in those rooms. So it was there on as soon as we walked in, which I thought was really sweet. It's really pretty. And it is a fun little keepsake to have. So we got that. So that was technically free. But, you know, you do pay for the room. And then, being me, I did take, I took the Disneyland Hotel little notepad, which I'm like, oh, I can use this at school. And I took the Disneyland Hotel pen. I don't know, are you the same way? Do you take like the pins? I usually don't take the pins like from the majority of like hotels and stuff, unless they say something really cute. Like this one does say Disneyland Hotel. So I was like, that's super cute. Like I have the one from the, the Disney Cruises and those are silver. I actually really like how those pins write. I haven't written with this one, so I don't know how it writes, but I did take that. Um, the other thing we got from there, well, I guess it's, oh, well, like maps and stuff. And I just keep these for um, like the activities they had going on at the park for the families and um, I and then the map for where we say where our room was on the map at the hotel I just put these in my bin I have like a Disney memento bin so I'll put those in there my husband was like do you want these I'm like yeah sure just throw them in my bag so that was what we got from there um, while we were at the Disneyland hotel we did go to Trader Sam's Gra Grotto we were able to get on the waiting list it was always a pretty long lengthy wait um, but we were able to go to dinner there, and it was so fun. If you can get a reservation there, I totally recommend it. We've done Trader Sam's at the Polynesian at Orlando, 
And now we've done Trader Sam's at Disneyland Hotel in California. I do think, okay, I can't even really compare them because the Trader Sam's in Orlando, we sat inside. So it was more like you have that whole experience and you're immersed in it and they do the whole little thing and they're acting all the drinks out. When you order a drink, they do their little, you know, dance and stuff. But um, at the Disneyland Hotel, we stayed, we sat outside. And now they did have live entertainment, which was really fun. Um, so they did have people playing and singing songs there, which was really nice. It was very like, you felt really immersed in the environment, but I'm, I didn't see inside. I mean, I guess the inside is similar to the one in Orlando, but I don't know. But we did order um, the Matterhorn Dole Whip. It was like a coconut flavor Dole Whip. It's on my highlights on my Instagram. I did post a picture of it too, but if you wanna go check that out, it is on the Disneyland highlights. And it did come in this cup, which was the keepsake cup. And um, she did wash it out for me. I probably should wash it again, but it does say Matterhorn on there because it was celebrating its 65th anniversary. Is that 65? Yes, yeah, so it was celebrating its 65th anniversary while we were there. So it says Matterhorn Disneyland, and then it says Trader Sam's right there, Enchanted Tiki Bar. I guess it's not, is it called Sam's Gargado? I don't know. And then you have the Matterhorn there on the cup. I really like the, the Dole Whip that came in. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. My husband didn't care for it because it had the coconut like shavings on it. And then our server there gave me more of the things that were like, this was like in the Dole Whip, but I think we sh the other one got soggy. But she just put these in the bag with this. And she also gave me these, which I didn't see until we got home. Well, back to the hotel room. But they say Trader Sam's on one side and then they say, uh, what is it called? Tangaroa Terrace, which is connected to Trader Sam's on the other side. So those are the two items that we got, or actually multiple items that we got from Trader Sam's for free, technically, but we bought it. And then I think that's everything from the Disneyland evening, like what we got there. But we did go to, um, and then I did make a reservation for us at Storytellers Cafe at the Grand Californian. And that restaurant is a character experience for breakfast and for brunch and lunch. For dinner, it's not. So dinner's a little bit cheaper because there are no characters there. But it was honestly one of the most, I don't wanna say, it was honestly like the best, there you go, the best character experience dining that I've had. Well, I don't know, it's hard to say because I really do like um, the one at the Riviera. That one is really fun too. But this one was really cute. The food was really good. It is a buffet. So I'm not a big buffet person because I don't, like I get full pretty quickly, but I do like trying a lot of things. So that was really fun to be able to get like one serving of various things and try them all. So I did like that aspect. And the characters were all really cute and they were all really sweet and they came up to you without making you feel like, you know, like, okay, I have to do this. They were just, they came up like at a really good timing. So when we were leaving, they had buttons there. So we did get buttons from that restaurant. So they look like this. So they say, Mickey's Tales of Adventure, and it's a Storyteller Cafe right there. I'm always here for a, a Disney button. These are actually the only buttons we got. We didn't get any of the celebrating buttons, but that's okay. So we did get these, and we got those from Storyteller Cafe at Grand California, which I would definitely recommend that restaurant, and I would honestly want to go back. So that was what we got there. Now, the rest of the stuff we got at Pride Night, so I'll show you guys that, and then I'll show you what I bought, bought. So... At Pride Night, when you walk in, they give you a lanyard and they give you a wristband. So everyone has to get a wristband, which I have both my husband and my are my wristband here. So they, they just tie these onto your wrist and they say Pride Night. And they have a little QR code right there. And that's actually the QR code that you would like scan. And it would like save all your pictures that you would take if you would do uh, picture photo ops. We did do one with Mickey and Minnie, which is also on my Instagram. If you want to go check that out, I will link it down below. But they do put these on you. I think that's how they are able to get the other people out of the park because they did close at six or close at eight that evening. We could get in at six, close at eight, and then we were able to stay till one. And then everybody gets these lanyards and everybody pretty much that I saw had them on. I don't know if it was another way for them to be able to see who was part of the after hours event, but I mean, if it is, it works because we all had them on. I wanted yellow, but I got red. My husband got green. They did have different colors. And then they gave these to you as you walked in. And then the lanyard itself just says, is that upside down? Just says Disneyland Pride Night. And we did go on night two. So this is really cute. I really like the lanyard itself. I don't really wear lanyards because they get stuck on things or pulled down. 
which usually the breakaway helps. So I think this is a breakaway and it's not breaking easily. So, but this is what they look like. Really cute. So these are our little Disneyland After Dark Pride Night 2024. I do believe this is the second year that they did Pride Night. So maybe they're going to keep doing it. I'm pretty sure it's a lucrative event for them as well. And it was really fun. While we were there, uh, people did come up to us and give us things, which I thought was so sweet. I didn't know they did that. So somebody came up to us and gave me this little uh, pocket hug, which is so cute. It's a little uh, rainbow hug that's uh, sewn that you can like carry in your pocket. And it says, this little pocket heart is full of love and hugs, so keep it close and know that you are loved. I thought that was so sweet. I wish I knew that people did this. I did not know that. While we were waiting for the parade, um, somebody else just passed out stickers. So we got these stickers. And then somebody else gave us this little love. What does it say? Love has no limits rainbow pin. So I'm gonna put that on my pin board. But isn't that so sweet? I had no idea that they did that. I mean, I wish I knew I would make like braces or something. It was so cute though. So we did get those items from people at the Pride event. And then at Pride event, they also had these little menus, which I thought were so cute. So it's not menus, but it's like kind of like an event that tells a little, like a, it is a menu, I guess, but it's more like a program that tells you what was going to be happening that night. So like the Chris Lou event that was selling the um, jewelry information about the photo pass all the pictures you were going to be taking it had a little pamphlet here of all the stuff they were going to be serving we did try a few things which we tried this drink here so we did get that little ice cube right there that lights up um we tried the churros they were really good and then it just has a map of the park for the evening they did close toontown for the evening which it's kind of blurred in the back up there you can kind of see and then every part of the park has different events happening so if you look, they had like little rainbow hearts with different character meet and greet. So it this kind of helped you so you knew where to go so you could see what you wanted to see or who you wanted to see. Because um, I know some of the lines were long. We waited about an hour and a half maybe to meet Mickey and Minnie in their rainbow outfits. But it was well worth it. We did go early. And then this is the little rainbow light up cube that we got in that drink that I showed you. So this was free technically, but we bought the drink. And then I did pin trading. I only got one pin. So this is the pin I got, which was technically through pin trading. I got this at, I think this was at the Grand California when we went there. I traded one of the Spider-Man pins that I bought at the Disney uh, outlet store. So that was that. Okay, now let me show you what we bought. Okay, so I went and got all the stuff that we bought. Now, I didn't get really any park maps. They didn't have a lot, but we did get this Pixar Fest map of like all the food and drinks that they had, which was all folded up because it was in our pocket, but we did use it to kind of see what food items we wanted to try that were specifically for Pixar Fest. Um, the Four Town drink, I did post some stuff what we ate on our my stories on Instagram, but we did get the Nobody Like You Cooler. That was absolutely terrible. I do not recommend that drink. It was so strong and so sweet, but we did get the bow bun and that was actually really good. We did like that one, but because I got this drink and it kind of upset my stomach because it was so sweet ever since I got my gallbladder out, like sweet sugary stuff kind of really makes my stomach upset. And that was honestly the first thing I had the whole morning other than like water. So that was pretty bad. So I went to go eat immediately after that. And that kind of helped once I ate like some regular food that wasn't straight sugar. Um, but we did that drink. I didn't like it. I don't think we got, oh yeah, we got this right here. We got the, from Gusto's, we got the macaroon, which was so good. That was honestly like our favorite snack that we got. I think my husband got like one more thing on here. I don't remember. It would be in my stories though, if you want to go check it out. But we did get other food like from, we love the video tacos, which were so good. And we love the corn. Um, so I did, we did get that, but that's not on here. So this is from Pixar Fest. Now, another reason I really wanted to go to California was because there is new stuff that we haven't seen and since we went um, a year ago. So San Francisco opened up and I really wanted to go there. And we spent like quite a few times there. We ate there twice. Um, and I did get Baymax bread. It's like a sourdough bread. It was so good. But I did get this ornament. I didn't get like an ornament that said Disneyland 2024 or anything like that. But I did get this ornament mostly because it was a, a part of the park that we actually really enjoyed. So it's in San Francisco and it has Baymax. They're making the little heart symbol and it has San Francisco down here. 
Um, this was $22.99. I did use my Disney Rewards Visa, um, which I saved 10% on quite a few of the things that I got. I added it up when I got home. I saved like $60 throughout the trip using that Disney Visa Rewards card. If you don't have a Disney Visa or you're interested in getting one, I will link my referral down below. I think I have a referral to link people if they want to try a Disney Visa. Um, rewards card. So I've been using that and you do get Disney bucks. So you can use that as well later on as you use the card. But I did buy this ornament and then something I got for me, all well, my husband, I guess myself and my husband is in this big old bag, which actually went through the plane with us, but it was a Baymax or it is a Baymax Cuddlies and we just saw these there we saw a little boy get one and he was hugging it and he was walking out of the store and we both were like oh my god we want that i know we're like adults and we're just like we want that cuddly it's so cute so he's really big as you can see but we thought it would be so cute to have on the couch so on our couch i do have like my mid my mini mouse the one that's a weighted one and i do hug it sometimes when i'm just kind of like it's supposed to like help you feel better because she's weighted and this is just soft and cuddly which you would want to like lay on it so we're going to put him on the couch he is white and i feel like i should scotch guard him but i mean i'm not going to but isn't he the cutest thing they did have a baymax big feet and we were kind of going back and forth between the two but we ended up getting the cuddlies because it was a lot cuter the big feet's cute too don't get me wrong the big feet is so cute and i do love the big feet plushies um, but yeah, my husband and I are bad because we both really like plushies. I mean, I do it because I like, I just love plushies. They make me happy. I don't know why, but they do. And I have some here in my room, my office, and I have like some BTS ones on my bed. And then we have like, these is going to be on the couch now. And we actually have quite a few plushies on the couch in our game room as well. Um, but yeah, so here is the new addition to the plushie family. It's a Baymax Cuddlies. And then my husband also got... This amazing Spider-Man ball cap, which he wore like the majority of the trip once he bought it, which I thought was really cute. I really liked it. And then let me get the other bag now. Okay, this next bag is stuff that is kind of, it's wearable. It's like clothing. So I did see this Disneyland bucket hat everywhere we went and it is made by Spirit Jersey. So it has Spirit Jersey tank there. I ended up getting it our last night there and it's so cute. I don't normally wear bucket hats, but I thought this one would be really cute for like summer. And if we go to like to a pool or like the river or something, I just thought it was really cute. And it matches my absolute favorite Disneyland Spirit Jersey, which is the black one that looks like this. And speaking of the black Spirit Jersey, I did not get another one, but I did get something that looked very similar to it. That was, I saw people wearing this like every night and I was like, Gosh, I really like that look at my hair. Um, so this is a spirit. It's not. Well, it's not a spirit jersey brand though. It's made by Disney. Like according to the tag, I was looking at it when I got it. It just says Disney, so it's just Disney apparel. But it looks very much like a spirit jersey, and it does say Disneyland authentic original established. Nineteen. What was it? Nineteen fifty five. 1985. I know Disney World's 1971, but I don't. This is, barely my, this is barely my second trip to Disneyland, so I'm like learning more about Disneyland every time I go. And then it has the Disneyland D right there. Now the cool thing about this is not a pullover; it is a zip up. So I thought that was so cool. This is the inside. I really like that idea of being able to wear it as a jacket and zip it up. And it does have a hood, so it looks like this. You have the D there, and then you have the Disneyland in the back. And it did get cold in the evening, so I saw a lot of people wearing it, and I just really liked it. I ended up getting it at uh, Russian Rivers, which was like right behind, right near uh, the Grand Californian. And I did get it for 10% off because I used my Disney Visa card. And then the other clothing, clothing item I purchased was the spirit jersey that everyone was going crazy after, like on Instagram right before I went. And I found it that first day that we were there at um, Downtown Disney at the dress shop. It was sold out at World of Disney, but they ended up restocking it, so it's like everywhere right now. But this is a Spirit Jersey. This is branded, I think, Spirit Jersey, right? Yeah. So this one is a Spirit Jersey. It has a Spirit Jersey little tag right there. Oh, look, I didn't even know it had that. It has a little Spirit Jersey tag right there and has Disney right there. But you have your Disneyland D right here, established 1955. That's Mickey Mouse. And then the back of the spirit jersey, you have Disneyland written in different characters. We have Mickey Mouse, Donald, Genie, Buzz, Goofy, Ariel, Minnie, Stitch, Dory, and Pluto. 
So that's so cute. Everyone was going crazy for this shirt on Instagram. I didn't think I was going to find it. And the minute I saw it, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm going to get that. So I did get it. I saved 10% off of this. I think it was like 77, 79. Um, but I get I got 10% off of this as well. That is all the clothing items I bought. I didn't buy, buy a lot. I noticed that. But I did want to get Pixar Fest merch. That was like on my mind. I wanted to get the Pixar Fest spirit jersey and the lug it's a lug bag, but they were sold out. So I did put an order in with a um, personal shopper and I found one of the items that will be coming soon and I'll share that with you guys later. But I did end up purchasing this Pixar Fest mug. So this is the only item I got that was Pixar Fest on my own because everything else was pretty much sold out. But it says Pixar Fest Disneyland and the year is on this side. So it does have 2024. We have all the characters around it. It's cute, Mike was asking. And then we, I like that it had, um, is that Mike? No, I think that is Mike. Is that Mike or no? Because I know Mike's right here. I did like that it had Mike and Sally up here in the front. That was like my favorite part in Toy Story in the front. And I just liked it. So, and it's red on the inside. Um, this mug was $16.99 and I got 10% off of that. And it got home safely and she wrapped it very nicely. So I'm glad I got here. Okay. And in one piece. And then I did get another mug which is over here. I got the uh, Starbucks Discovery Series. I got the Disneyland one because the first time I went, I got the California Adventure one. So now I have the Disneyland one as well. And they had a ton of these. Um, this is the first time I took it out of the box. So it has Disneyland right there. It's like a little bit off pink, if you can tell, like a little bit pastel looking. The castle's here. And then we have Haunted Mansion, which was closed for refurbishment, so we did not get to ride that. Then it has Mr. Toad. I love Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. If you've never been on it, it's such a fun, like, classic ride. Is it the Millennium Falcon? I think so. And then it does say Starbucks right here. And the inside is, like, that pink color that's so pretty. So this is the Starbucks um, Discovery Series Disney Parks. I don't have, like, all the Disney Parks mugs because... I love mugs. I mean, I drink tea and coffee sometimes, and so I do. I'm a mug collector. I have quite a few, but I'm also a teacher, and pe kids like to give you mugs, so I really have to, like, be careful and cognizant of how many mugs I buy, and yet I bought two mugs this trip, so I'm like, oh, it's just hard, but I really wanted this one because it matched. I mean, I have the California Adventure one, so I really wanted this one to kind of go with that one, but now it's like, well, do I want all the four from the Disney World parks? I mean, I don't know. That's a slippery slope that you get on. But I do love this mug. It's super cute. And then I got this little from Pixar. Well, this is also a Pixar Fest. I forgot this is a Pixar Fest um, merchandise that we got with the purchase of a drink. We didn't use it, though. We just got it brand new. And it has a little alien macaroon. It's called like a straw topper, but it's also squishy. We didn't know it was squishy, but then we have that. So I don't know if I'm going to keep it on there or I'm going to use it as like a bag charm, but I just really thought it was cute. So we did get this. You got We got this at like a monomobile order. So that was from like one of the restaurant kiosks. And then I got Gummy Butterflies, the Daisy Bag, which I always get. They're so good. Um, Lauren, Life with Lauren, she loves these. So I had to try them and they're so delicious. So I got that. This is where I think $6.99 is the bag of candy price now. And then from Toontown... I did get a popcorn bucket, which I normally don't buy popcorn buckets, although I have two, and now this is number three, because they are so bulky bulky, and they're kind of hard to travel with, but when we went to Toontown, I saw these, and they're so stinking cute. They had these, um, this popcorn bucket is in the Mickey and Minnie Runaway Railway ride, um, so it does say El Capitoon Theater, because that's where the ride is at. It says hot and fresh popcorn, it says yummy there. And then you have just like popcorn logos on the side. And it comes like with the strap, obviously, because it's a popcorn bucket. But I just thought it would be so cute as like a purse if you like went to the movies and you wanted to use it as a purse. I did wash it out already. I put popcorn in it multiple times. They won't refill it for you, but I um like a regular popcorn, the $5 one, comes up to about here and here. So I just did that. I bought a $5 like box and I poured it in here. And it's also easier to carry. So like you close it and it stays shut and then you're able to carry it around the park. We were able to put it like in a backpack like that as well. But yeah, I got a popcorn bucket. I did not think I would get a popcorn bucket and I did. And then I did purchase two pins. So they're in these bags still. I got 
Oh, this one I got at Pride Night. I wouldn't like one thing that was Pride Night specific. And I really had a hard time finding things. I ended up going to every single store that was selling Pride Night merch. And I got this pin. And it does say Disneyland Pride Night right there. If you can see it. And then I think it has something on the back. No, that one doesn't in there. But I know Minnie is a flip spin. So it's Mickey and Minnie. And it flips. So that's cute. This was $19.99. I did get 10% off of it. But I did like that it was like dated and it shows like the event, like the after dark event. So I thought this would be really cute for the pin board. Because I do like to get the after, if we go to an after hour event, I like to get the pin from the after hours event. Like from the Christmas parties, I got the pins. And then I did get another pin for the hotel. Because I always like to get a pin for the hotel that we stay at. So I got the Disneyland Hotel pin. And it just says the happiest day on earth. And I got this at the Disneyland Hotel gift shop. So yeah, I tend to buy a pin from each hotel that we stay at. And I have them on my pin board. So I really am not a big pin trader. But I do like pins as a way of commemorating like different events that we go on. And then I have a few more things to show you. So I literally just finished filming my haul. And I realized that I forgot to show you guys one thing that I hauled. But I didn't get it in a bag. Like I immediately had them put it on my bracelet. And while I was driving back home, I realized I forgot to haul it. So it is a Pandora charm. So I'm gonna insert a little video clip of the new Pandora charm I got. I know I have been saying I'm gonna film my Pandora bracelet and I have not done that, but I will do that. So let me show you my charm that I got right now. Okay, so I did get Mike Wazowski right there. He has like a little blue stone on his face. But I got Mike Wazowski, and he matches Sully, who is right there. Uh, last time we went to Disneyland, I got the Ferris wheel, which is right there. But now this time I got Mike. So hopefully, eventually, I'll get all of the Monsters charms. Um, but yeah, that's Mike Wazowski right there. He's the newest addition that I got on this trip. And okay, back to the your regularly scheduled program. <laughs> okay. The last thing I have to show you, thank you for watching this video by the way, is stuff I got in Knott's Berry Farm. So we did go to Knott's Berry Farm, which we had never been before. We took an Uber from our hotel at the Sheraton and we took it to Knott's Berry Farm. If you've never been, have you been? Do you like it? It was my first time. It was my husband's first time. First time. He absolutely loved it because he loves roller coasters and they have quite a few there. And I like Disney roller coasters now. When I was younger in my 20s, I didn't mind like the more thrill ride ones. But now I'm just like, no, I don't want to. Like my back hurts. I'm more fearful. It's weird. I It's like how you get more fearful as you get older. But I do. I did. So I am not a big fan. I uh, did like certain aspects of Knott's Berry Farm. It was really nice to be able to try so many different kinds of food with boysenberry. I've never had boysenberry. And that's kind of what I bought. So I did get everything there was really inexpensive too. I have to say like the prices was like, it was like different coming from Disney. It was just like, well, this is pretty cheap. But I did get this boysenberry tea, which is like in a little wooden box. It's so cute. And I do, like I said, I do like tea. So I did get this boysenberry ba box of tea bags. Um, 25 tea bags in there. I got this. And then I got this bag. It was in my bag, in my suitcase, my little carry-on, but it's good. It didn't crack too much. I got this bag of boysenberry popcorn. So I'm excited to try this Knott's Berry Farm boysenberry popcorn. Um, like I said, it was a lot of boysenberry. I got, we had boysenberry pie. We had boysenberry ice cream, which was so good. We had a boysenberry churro. It was just like everything boysenberry. We wanted to try it. And then I did get a little bag of boysenberry shortbread cookies. I love shortbread. I really think I've had these before. I told my husband the bag looks so familiar. Like, I'm like, I've eaten that. I know I have. But, I mean, I can't remember, like, what it tasted like. So, we did get these. Um, and then we even got boysenberry pastries from their bakery to have for breakfast the following morning. So, we also had, I had a boysenberry Danish and he had a boysenberry foldover or turnover. Turnover. Um, but yeah, there's just so much boysenberry stuff. If you are in California, you don't want to go to Knott's Berry Farming. You just want to try the boysenberry stuff or even like these things that I bought. Everything is outside the park. So like right outside the park, there's like a little shopping center that they have. They have a restaurant where you can get the fried, the famous fried chicken, which we did get. It was really good. Um, but they also have a bakery so you can get all the baked goods. The whole time we were in Knott's Berry Farm, I was like, 
I want to try boysenberry pie. I keep seeing boysenberry everywhere. I've never had boysenberry pie. I really want to try it. We asked everybody, oh, you have to get that outside the park. And we were like, what? So like all of the good food was not even in the park. It was outside the park. And then outside the park, there's a huge peanuts shopping center store that had every Charlie Brown item that was sold inside the park sold outside the park. And then there was a store that had everything pretty much sold inside the park in that store outside the park. So we were like laughing because we're like, you mean to tell us we could have just bought everything in these stores outside the park and not carried it throughout the whole time we were in the park. But yeah, we carried it throughout the whole duration of being in the park and we could have bought it outside the park. But I mean, that's kind of a good tip if you just want to go get some snacks that are boysenberry, you can go get it without paying a ticket to go into Knott's Berry Farm. But yeah, those are the only three items I bought at Knott's Berry Farm. Um, I'm really glad we did go. It was a fun experience. Would I go back? No, probably not. Um, my husband, you know, he really did like it. He probably would go back. And if he wants to go back, I'll go back with him. But it was just not really my cup of tea. I really prefer Disney. I'm more of a Disney girl. Honestly, while he was on the waiting in three different lines for a roller coaster, I was reading a book. So I like just found somewhere shady and I sat and I read my book, which was great too. I read four chapters that day. So that was pretty fun for me. But I'm looking around and that is everything that I bought at Disneyland um, in California. I don't know. Yeah, I honestly thought I was going to buy more, but I think it's because there wasn't very much Pixar Fest stuff. And I think if there was more Pixar Fest stuff, I definitely would have gotten it. I didn't buy any bags or like lounge flies or purses. I usually always bring, I feel like I always buy a lounge fly on the trip, but they did have the donut Mickey, the ones that match like um the snack ones that match this collection. They're like a new collection. But they match like the popcorn, but like the popcorn collection. And I have this one. I have the ice cream bar. But they did come out with like new collections. And they just came out with the whole um, donut collection. It's like a pink jersey, spirit jersey with a Mickey donut. But I did not get it. I didn't get it. Um, I like it. I kind of want it now. And it's actually on sale in Shop Disney right now. There's like a coupon code. So, or DisneyStore.com. I might do that. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. If I do buy it, I'll just do a haul here again, but it'll be a Disney store haul. But yeah, that is everything I got in Disneyland. Thank you so much for watching this video. I did post videos of our trip if you want to see it. I'm not a vlogger. I don't consider myself a vlogger, but I did want to share little bits of aspects of our trip with you. It's kind of hard too because I'm really cognizant of the people around me. So I do try to film where I don't get like people in my shots. So I'm kind of like hovering or I'm kind of like looking at the atmosphere, but I do like these videos as well for myself because they're fun for memories. Um, honestly, there's more stories on my Instagram, so I do make highlight reels, so they're over there if you want to go check that out as well. I'll leave that link down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are all doing well. Take care of yourself, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!